Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. Firstly, as always, I'd like to give a big thank you to all my subscribers. This week, I'm going to convert my paint pressure pot into a resin casting pot. This is my 30 litre Vivo pressure paint pot. And I'm going to try and turn it into a resin casting pot. I'm going to try and do that, making as few changes to it as possible. But first, I'm going to add the casters to the base and then we'll take a look at what changes I'm going to make. I've flipped the base of the tank upside down because I think it'll be easier to fit the casters this way. Just under this lip, there's a nut, but I can't get a spanner in there to hold it anyway. But they've tightened up, so I'm pleased with that. That's going to be a lot better because when the lid's on, this is quite heavy. Next, I'm going to be working on the lid. And for that, what I'm going to do is remove this paint feed pipe and I'm going to remove this paint agitator, which is used for stirring the paint. Once I've removed this, I need to plug this hole. And for that, I've measured this and this is 16 millimeters. So I've bought an M16 bolt. I've got a couple of washers and some rubber washers. So I'll get that done now. Right, that's all the bits off that I'm going to take off. So next I'll move on to plugging the hole. So, this is my M16 by 100mm bolt. And the 100 references from the end of the bolt to underneath the head of the bolt. Now this is actually too long. I don't want to mess about cutting it down. So instead of putting it that way, I'm going to put it in from the bottom. It comes with a locking nut, which is always preferable. So all I'm going to do, metal washer. Rubber washer. And shove it through. I'm putting it this way. So it's not sticking down into the pot. So again, rubber washer. Metal washer. And then I just need to tighten this nut down.
that's all the changes I'm going to make. When I looked at pictures of this online, all that was changed was obviously this handle was removed and it was plugged with a nut and bolt and rubber washer. These two ball valves were left in place. This block was removed along with this ball valve and this connector and then a replacement connector is then screwed onto this ball valve where this block is. But the way I'm thinking is if you can leave these two ball valves then why can't I leave this ball valve in place? As long as it's shut there shouldn't be a problem and if there is I'll change it in future. But for now, I'm leaving that as it is, because once I've filled the tank with air, I can close this ball valve and done. When I need to let air out, I can either reopen this and the air will come back out of here. Or I can use the air outlet. It's got a pressure valve which is rated to 60 psi. So I'm not going to do any resin casting today. But what I'm going to do is put the lid on the base and see if I can get it up to around 50 psi and see if it holds air. I've got up to 50 psi, I can't hear any leaks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this, I'll come back in an hour and see if it's lost any pressure. I still can't hear any leaks, this seems to be holding at a constant pressure, so I'm going to call this a success. Now, I think leaving this on not a bad idea really because when I went to disconnect my hose I shut this off I opened this to release air from the hose and it came off nice and easy so I don't think there's any reason to take that piece off what I am going to do is I'm now going to leave it and come back in the morning and see if the needles moved so for you it'll be almost instant for me I've got to wait till tomorrow. So I'll be back in a bit. Right, it's the next day. And it has lost some pressure, but it looks to me like it's gone from 50 psi down to just above 45 psi. So I'm pleased with that. Right, I'm going to let the air out. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some resin casting soon. I'm not sure exactly when that'll be. Because everything I do in the workshop is just a hobby. So, I need to save up some money. So I can buy some resin. And once I've done that, I can have a go at some resin casting. Alright, as far as I'm concerned, that's that finished. I don't think it's too bad. It hasn't cost me a lot to convert it. Because all I've done is fit this bolt and I've left the rest of it alone. Now the bolts come in a pack of two and they were £8.89. The metal washers, I got them from a local hardware shop. They were £1.50 for two. And I made the rubber washers myself. I bought a piece of rubber, 
from Amazon at £3.5. The bolts came from Amazon as well. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And as always, thanks for watching.